Next to President Obama's historic and solemn visit to Hiroshima, Japan, laying a wreath at the memorial there, he did not apologize for the atomic bomb that the U.S. dropped to end World War II, but he did honor the dead, and he called for an end to nuclear war. ABC's Jim Avila is traveling with the president. Today in Hiroshima, history made with every step. President Obama walking where seven decades of American presidents would not. 71 years ago, on a bright, cloudless morning, death fell from the sky and the world was changed. A flash, a burst of fire, and a mushroom cloud. 80,000 people killed instantly. Today, near the only building still standing, the American president refusing to apologize, but listening intently as survivors told their stories, this man dissolving into tears. Obama calls what happened here a lesson for the modern world. The scientific revolution that led to the splitting of an atom requires a moral revolution as well. His message, written in the memorial book, let us now find the courage, together, to spread peace and pursue a world without nuclear weapons. President Obama now heading home after his historic visit to Japan and Vietnam, both former enemies, now strategic friends. Jim Avila, ABC News, Hiroshima.